Well, graffiti is popping up in many places here in the mountains, including a freight train in Haywood County. Two men have been charged for that. But police are still working to solve another case in a local community. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us. Do they have any leads, Rex? Just a picture of what they think are two juveniles who spray painted businesses, even a church playground in Waynesville. We're starting to uh, repaint where the graffiti was. It's been a month since graffiti was sprayed all over the playground of the early education and preschool at St. John's Church in Waynesville. So we've taken all that and uh, taken the graffiti off of that and the Crip Nation stuff. Debbie McConnell thought for a moment the culprits had been caught. Was really excited last night on the news thinking that maybe they had been found when they had the train graffiti in Asheville, but then I saw that it was too sophisticated. Two grown men admitting to Haywood County authorities they spray painted a boxcar. But the recent markings around Waynesville? I think it's probably juveniles uh, defacing property and so forth. I don't see any correlation between any gang activity. I think it would probably be more in the, co the copycat category at this point. Police do have a picture of two suspects inside the Justice Center's parking garage. They think they hit nearby businesses like Haywood Builders. Mostly kids doing stupid things. It costs us in time and labor to redo it. It's never as attractive as it once was. She didn't get this was part of it. And repair work still remains so at the church get... playground. Debbie McConnell hoping people take a good look at the suspect's picture. And we're real uh, conscious of the staff and myself of looking around if we see anybody like that. But resolved to get things back to normal for her kids. But we will. We'll get it all. We will. We'll get it. If you have any information, call Waynesville Police at 456-5363. Larry?